Hello. I made this YouTube video to introduce BaseballReference.com. You will find this website very useful as you prepare the lineups and pitching rotations for the simulation study that we're going to be doing in the class. Uh, you now have a team assigned to you and you'll need to set lineups against left-handed pitchers and right-handed pitchers and to decide what your starter rotation is going to be and who your relief specialists are going to be against left-handed and right-handed batters. So let's start by clicking on teams and I just mouse over that and I can move down and let's just pick the Detroit Tigers as an example. So I do that and what I'm taken to is the information on the 2013 season, the current season. We want to base our simulation on the last complete Major League Baseball season, 2012. So to get to that information, I just click on 2012 right here. Now, as I scroll down, I have a list of all of the players that played for at least one game on the Detroit Tigers uh, at the Major League level in 2012. So let's start by looking at batters. And we know that some batters are going to hit better against left-handed pitchers than right-handed pitchers. Let's take a look at Alex Avila so I'm just going to click on Alex Avila's name, and I'm taken to a page with all of his uh, offensive data uh, listed. And you can see that we are we have from 2009 to 2013 for his entire career. We're going to be interested in how Avila bats against left-handed pitchers versus right-handed pitchers. To, to see that, I'm going to use the splits command. So I just click on splits and I'm going to choose 2012. I'm going to do that. Now scroll down again. And you can see that as a left handed batter, the only way that Avila bats, um, against right handed pitching, he batted right around the league average 262, 367 on base, 429 slugging. So a creditable performance. But against left-handed pitchers, he does very poorly. He only batted 176, got on base uh, less frequently than against right-handers, and had a very poor uh, slugging percentage. So from this information, I know that I would be pleased to play Avila against a right-handed starter, but against a left-hander, I probably want to put him on the bench and look at one of my other catchers who may be able to hit left-handed pitching better. We want to do the same thing for pitchers, particularly for relief pitchers. So I'm going to just back click twice to get back to the team page here. And let's go down and let's pick um, Octavio Dotel. So Dotel is a right handed pitcher. And again, I want to look at uh, his splits against left handed and right handed batters. So you can see he's a, a veteran player. But I'm going to be interested in his splits for the year 2012. So I do that. I can scroll down a little bit to see the information. And here he's a right-handed pitcher. So here is how he performed against right-handed batters. Very well. Batters, Right-handed batters only hit 197 against him. Very low on base percentage. Very poor slugging. So not very much power. But against left-handed batters, he does... Not so well. Uh, batters hit nearly 300 against him, 360 on base, and a pretty pretty decent slugging average. So here we have a situation where I want to use Dotel um, in the eighth inning or ninth inning as a reliever, but only against right-handed pitching. Against left-handed handed, I'm sorry, against right-handed batting, I would want to use a different pitcher against a left-handed batter because the left-handed batters are going to do pretty well against Dotel. So just going back to the home page, the team home page, we can go through and you can pick every one of the 25 members of your of your team and look at their data, look at their splits, and decide where you want to put them in your lineup and whether you want to play them against both left and right-handed starters or or maybe just one.